हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली लाइक ऑल माय वीडियोस सो दैट यूट्यूब कैन प्रमोट माय वीडियोस एंड दैट विल हेल्प मी अलॉट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू कैलकुलेट द एक्स एंड वाई कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द फोर सी विच मेम्बर बी सी एक्सर्ट्स ऑन मेम्बर ए सी डी राइट सो दिस मेम्बर बी सी अप्लाइज अ फोर्स ऑन दिस ए सी डी मेम्बर राइट सो लेट मी रेप्रजेंट दैट force bc right so this bc will apply the force at this point c like this right so we are required to find the components of this c force along the x and y axis and this is our x and y axis right so let's say that i represent this force as bc right so this is that bc force and it is said that the cables are wrapped securely around the two pulleys which are fastened together right so first what i will do is that i will consider this pulley for equilibrium right so now as we can see that here we have two ropes this is one rope and this is another rope right so the tension in this rope will be equal to the weight of this uh, 100 kg mass right so this means that we will have a uh, 981 newton tension here which will be acting vertically downward 100 into 9.81 is 981 newtons and similarly we will have some tension here which is not known yet right so let me draw it here as well so we will have this tension let's say that that is t right so i will consider this pulley as a free body diagram right let me isolate this right so we will have this pulley as a free body diagram right and this is that point d so now if and here at point d we will have two reaction forces as well right we will have dx reaction and we will have dy reaction which will be acting vertically upward right so now if i consider this pulley as a free body diagram and if i apply the summation of moment about point d equals to 0 right and let's say that the counter clockwise moment is positive so now as we can see that this t tension is producing the counter clockwise moment about that point d so i will write t right and the perpendicular distance of this t from that point d is the radius of this inner pulley right so the radius of this inner pulley is 0.25 so i will multiply this t with 0.25 so this is 0.25 t and similarly this 981 newton is producing the clockwise moment about that point d so i will write minus 981 and the perpendicular distance of this 981 from that point d is the radius of this outer pulley which is a uh, 0.5 right so i will multiply this with 0.5 and this is equal to 0 so from this t equals to 0.5 into 981 divided by 0.25 and from this if we calculate it so this is equal to 1962 newtons so this tension is this tension is equal to 1962 newtons right and now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 and if this is our positive x direction right so dx is acting in the positive x direction so dx minus this t this is equal to 0 so from this we can say that dx is equal to t which is equal to 1962 newtons right and similarly uh if i apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 and if this is our positive direction so dy is acting in the positive y direction and this 981 is acting in the negative y direction so from this this is equal to 0 and from this we can say that dy is equal to 981 newtons right so now uh, we need to find this the components of this bc force along x and y so for that what what we need to do is that we need to consider this acd member of this whole frame for static equilibrium right so i i need to isolate this acd member right so now let me isolate this acd member right we will have this as a free body diagram right here we have that point a this here we have that point c and here we have that point d right so these this dx and dy are the reaction forces at the center of this pulley right due to this tension and this 981 newton force right so what will happen is that as a reaction 
this pulley system will apply the same forces on this ACD member but in the opposite direction right so we will have that DX force uh, which will be acting in this direction at this point D right this is the DX which is equal to 1962 this is that DX 1962 Newton and here here we will have that DY which will be acting vertically downward right this is that dy which is 981 newton similarly we will have two reaction forces here at a as well right so here we will have a ax reaction and here we will have that ay reaction right so now if i apply the summation of moment about point a equals to zero let me write that the summation of moment about point a equals to zero if we consider member a c d so now uh, since a x and a y are passing through that point a so they will not produce the moment about that point a right and let's say that the counterclockwise moment is positive so now as we can see that this BC force is producing the clockwise moment about that point A. So I will write minus BC and the perpendicular distance of this BC from that point A is this AC length. We can say that this AC length, right? So let me write AC length first, right? So first we need to find this AC length. We are given this as a 45 degree. This BD length is 2 meters and this b a length is two meters right so if if i draw if i complete this triangle we have this a b d triangle and this is two meters and this is two meters right so if this is if this is the case if this length is two meters and if this length is two meters then this angle is 45 and this length angle is 45 right and this angle is 90 degree which is obvious this is 90 degree right and now if 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 this angle is 45 uh, so this angle is also 45 this angle is also 45 right so if this is 45 this is 45 so this means that this is 90 degrees right so this means that that bc force is acting perpendicular to this acd member right so now uh, we are given this uh, bd length and this AB length. So if I use this large triangle, this ABD triangle, so we can find this AD length, right? So we 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 are having this triangle. Let me draw this triangle like this. We have this triangle. This is a point A. This is point B. This is point D. This BD length is two meters. This is two meters. So we can find this length by using the Pythagoras theorem, this AD length, right? So AD length will be equal to 2 meter square plus 2 meter square. So this will be equal to 2 square root 2, right? And as we can see that uh, this BC is perpendicular to this uh, AD. And as we can see that this is acting at the middle of this AD right so we can find that that bc length is half of this ad so ad is 2 square root 2 so we can say that bc is uh, sorry this is not bc this is ac right so this ac is the half of that ad so ad is 2 square root 2 so we can say that this ac is square root 2 right or we can we can prove this in in other way as well right if i draw a line here so we first we can find this length right this is two meters and this angle is 45 right so this is that point c so if, if we consider this abc triangle then this ac length is the cos component of this two meters right so we can say that this will be two cos of 45 right so again we can prove we can find that AC length. So this is 2 cos of 45. So this is square root 2, right? So AC length is square root 2. 
so now this the perpendicular distance of this bc from that point a is how much so it is square root 2 so i will multiply this with square root 2 right and similarly as we can see that this dx is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point a so i will write plus dx is 1962 so i will write 1962 and the perpendicular distance of this dx from that point a so let me draw the dx here again so we will have the dx here so the perpendicular distance of the d from point a will be equal to this length right and this length is equal to 2 meter so i will multiply this with 2 right and similarly this dy is producing the clockwise moment about that point a so i will write minus dy is 981 and the perpendicular distance of that 981 newton force from that point a is again 2 meters this 2 meters right so that uh, 9.81 that is acting here right so the perpendicular distance is this distance right and this distance is 2 meters so i will multiply this with 2 and this is equal to 0 right so from this we can calculate that bc right so uh, we can say that this is minus bc square root 2 so this will be equal to minus 1962 into 2 plus 981 into 2 and divided by square root 2 right so we will have here minus as well so that BC member force uh, which exerts, which BC exerts on ACD member is 1387.34. So let me write that this is uh, 1387, right? And this is in Newtons, right? So we need to write this as Newtons. Now if I draw a horizontal line from this point C, and that horizontal line will be perpendicular to this AB line, right? so this is perpendicular to this and if this angle is 45 so then this angle is also 45 if this is 90 right so this means that that bc force which is perpendicular to this acd is making 45 degrees with the horizontal right so if i draw a horizontal line here so this angle of bc with the horizontal is 45 right so this uh, bc will have two components it will have one component which will be acting in this direction in the positive x direction and it will have one component which will be acting in the negative y direction like this so this is bx and this is by right so bx will be the cos component right so bx is acting in the positive x direction so i will write plus and this will be bc cos of 45 degrees right so bc is now known which is 1387 cos of 45 degrees and similarly b y will be equal to b c sin of 45 and b c is again 1387 both will have the same value since sin of 45 and cos of 45 have same value right so we can say that 1387 cos of 45 this is approximately equal to 981 newtons right so i can say that b x is 981 newtons in the positive x direction and this is acting in the negative y right so we will write that this is minus 981 newtons right so we were asked to find the x and y components of the force c which member bc exerts on member acd right so this is that bx force uh, this is that bx right uh, 981 newtons and this is by which is minus 981 newtons in the problem it is said that uh, that force c right so we were required to represent this bc force as force c right so i have only just represented with the wrong name right so this bc force needed to be c force right so if we use the instead of bc c as a force notation so then this will be cx and this will be cy but the answer will remain the same right so i hope you people would have understood this problem right if you people uh, want me to solve more and more problems kindly like my videos kindly subscribe my channel so that uh, youtube can help me youtube can promote my channel